<clears throat> so today's the day since i bought this truck on halloween of 2019 i've had one gripe about it it does not have a trailer brake controller and i wanted a factory style trailer brake controller i did not want to put an aftermarket style in and they said well it'll be released in january then they said when january came they said oh it'll be released in june and then <clears throat> i checked in the beginning of august and they said well it'll be december so i called the other day because i need an oil change and i'm not touching this truck until it's out of warranty myself and they said that they had one in stock so the uh trailer brake controller through mopar is 299 dollars and some change and then uh i'm gonna pay them to install it um only really because they said that if I was to install it myself, I'd still have to take it back and get the computer flashed before it could work. So we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes today. And uh, hi Hennessy, that's my cat. So anyway, I have some speculation on where I think it's gonna be located in here. Um, <clears throat> from the looks of it and the angle, I have a feeling that it's gonna go right here where this. Uh, cigarette lighter plug is um, I really don't know elsewhere in the dash where it could go and I haven't really read online where it goes I haven't seen anything about this as far as I know this is the first one I've read about being in stock anywhere so we'll see where it goes today and uh, after I get it installed we'll do a little review I guess alright stay tuned alright so I got this thing installed down here it is I was right it goes in a cigarette lighter hole um, it took them three hours to install it uh, everything in an oil change was just under six hundred dollars um, now I do get a discount a military discount so whatever your shop's labor rate that's gonna vary uh, it's covered by warranty everything so this is what it's gonna look like when you've got it hooked up to a trailer I've got it just plugged into our dump trailer right now and uh, then of course you can adjust the gain it's got settings one through ten and then you can manually set the brakes or manually apply the brakes to the trailer by pushing here and it indicates red whenever it's uh, whenever it's uh, applying power and then I'm probably gonna leave this at like a four and then it does the same whenever you use the foot pedal. Hold on a second. There we go. Sorry, my camera and abilities. And you apply the pedal. There we go. Now, as far as I know, and I don't know how to turn this light off. Let's look through the menus here and see if it has anything. For as far as you have a trailer hooked up. It doesn't appear to tell you anything. In the menus. Trip information, stop start. shut up no messages speedometer all right okay so it doesn't tell you anything doesn't show you an emblem but pretty much that's the gist of it it's right there it's easy to adjust going down the road it's uh, ain't gonna reach on a dash and slide it where you want it or nothing like that other crap so you just set your gain apply and you can manually apply the brakes here uh, like I said, it don't make it a ton truck, but it gives you a little bit extra peace of mind. So, And then let's make sure that the blinkers still work and everything as far as going through. I doubt they had to do, excuse me, I doubt they had to do anything to the, to the plug back here. Let's just make sure these blinkers still work. The running lights don't work on this trailer, but the blinkers... Well, they was working the other day. Maybe it's just the one side. Let me check the one side. This thing is... You don't go very far with this trailer. It ain't perfect. I do know the brakes work on it because whenever I... 
uh, pull it with our one ton and lock them up. Then it works a little too good. Okay, that's a problem. All right. Um. Hmm. All right. Well, tell you what. Let's do this. It might just be the lights. Hold on. Where the lights are on, we're just in a different filament in the. That's what it was. Okay. So our buddy borrowed this thing. And he wired LEDs into it, and they're not right. So, like, if you've got the headlights on, for whatever reason, signals won't work. And I did forget that. That is how this thing works. So, anyway, there she is. Everything's working. So, that's kind of the the deal on your uh, 2020, I guess 2021 now, Jeep Gladiator factory Mopar trailer brake. So, there it be.